Hey, Simon so here. So tomorrow I'll be talking to that lovely audience here. But just a quick update what's happening. Basically, uh, Bitcoin SegWit, SegWit 2X is now cancelled, which means there's, there's now just Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. You've got to ignore that Bitcoin Gold. It's pure scam. Um, and the thing is, as, a, and, uh, as anticipated, the price of Bitcoin has, has tumbled. It, it was around 7,700. It's now 6,500. Um, and it's lost 10% of market share. So it's now down to about 55% of the whole crypto market. And so the real battle now, the, the real question is, what will become Bitcoin? Will it be Bitcoin Cash or will it be Bitcoin? I mean, Bitcoin Cash is eight times more scalable than Bitcoin. Um, currently, uh, Bitcoin does around a maximum of seven transactions per second, so it's definitely not scalable. Uh, when you compare it to something like Swift, um, even Bitcoin Cash cannot be the true scalable currency, which everyone is like thinking, hey, Bitcoin Cash is going to be the currency. Um, it's not because, a ma I mean, Bitcoin Cash, sorry, what's, what's seven times eight? 56, sorry. <laughs> no, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's so early. Um, yeah, so really, Bitcoin Cash can only do around 56 uh, transactions a second. So it's not going to be that, that magic currency which everyone's all expecting. However, there cannot be two. It's like Highlander. There can only be one. Um, so my, my leaning is that things will move towards Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin will be uh, Bitcoin Cash as it is more scalable. Um, and I think it will have to remain um, clunky, illiquid and like digital gold, basically. Okay, so, um, I've had quite a few questions on YouTube and Facebook, etc., about ICOs. Um, <clears throat> and for those of you, or for, for the uninitiated, don't, I'm not scratching my ass, the, the microphone receiver is quite bulky. So for those of you who don't know, an ICO is an, an initial coin offering. And it's basically the crypto version of an IPO, an initial public offering. So when a company wants to launch, its, um, launch itself onto the, the open market, like a stock market of some sort, they'll do an IPO, um, where basically they give away 20, at least 25% of their shares to the public, hence it's called an IPO. Um, so the ICO has gone nuts. It is, it's literally gone nuts. So uh, 1st of January 2017, so what, nine, 10 months ago, the whole crypto market was about $17.7 .7 billion in terms of total market cap. Um, Whereas now I'm sat here in, what was it, November, early November, um, and it's, it's $203 billion. So there's been a huge amount of capital that's just been, like, been plowing into um, the crypto space. And the, the fact that um, ICOs have raised way more money than uh, VCs, I forgot the number off the top of my head, but it's been just under $2 billion now, which is in, in such a short period of time, which is absolutely crazy. There's one company that raised, uh, what was it, $35 million in 24 seconds. Uh, there's another company that raised $150 million in about three hours. Um, there's one that raised, I think, $250 million in like a week or two. Um, it's nuts, and it's just very reminiscent of the initial tech bubble from 1997 to sort of 2000, 2001, where you know, you had these these internet companies that are just la <clears throat> launching and raising millions based on nothing. And that's what these ICOs are. They're, they're these basically ideas. They launch a white paper, which is a PDF of anything from four to 20 odd pages, saying, hey, this is our cool idea. Um, give us moolah. The gravy train has now, it's starting to subside. Like, we're not getting these crazy value, uh, like fundraisers anymore. Uh, we, we are, but it's not as much. I mean, there's still an ICO every day, pretty much. Um, however, it's, it's not as easy. There's now like an unwritten code that like people can smell whether an ICO is a genuine crypto venture or if it's just a money grab. And I get messages all of the time saying, hey, Sam, I've got this really idea. Can you help me with this ICO or uh, etc." And most of the time, 90% of these, these requests 
are basically companies trying to raise capital because you know the banks aren't lending um, and all these other peer-to-peer -peer ones aren't lending etc if you are going to launch an ICO it has to be a genuine crypto venture ie the idea that you have can only exist in the form of you know a blockchain or in the crypto space there's a few fair few criteria which um, I personally have a look at first of all I want to know um, who's the team like how many of them there are who their um, who the advisors has the team ever run a multi-million pound business before um, because if you give a bunch of 20 like young 20 year olds 10 million dollars overnight guess what they're going to do with it they're going to blow it they're going to splash it on cars and holidays and silly offices that they, they don't need um, so really I'd like to see a track record that the management have run a business before. Genuine crypto venture, so to speak. Uh, I'm being very vague with that because we can go into all sorts of different rabbit holes here. Humanic, and Humanic wants to put basically every um, medical record on the blockchain. Um, so you could go to holiday in India, um, be hit by a bus, and then they just scan your fingerprint and your, your medical records would be there. Hell, I remember I, um, last year I moved from one side of the city to the other and moving my medical records from one surgery to the other was just an absolute ball ache. Yeah, and now you're probably thinking, well, why, why can't that be done at the moment? And yeah, technically, yeah, you can put um, everyone's medical, medical records on the cloud of some sort, but it wouldn't be decentralized because if, so, if it was on the cloud, that means someone would then have access to everyone's um, medical records. And the thing is, Blockchain is, is the, a revolution in trust because if you had a decentralized blockchain and everyone's medical records are up there, um, it basically it, you can protect your own identity and, and, and records. So Humanic, that is, I mean, that, that's a good one. That literally needs the, the, the blockchain uh, space. So their ICO um, is valid, whereas there have been lots of really crappy ones. So. And the other one, the other question I get a lot is, Simon, why haven't you launched your own coin yet? And the thing is, it's because I'm, it's because I'm not a freaking scammer. Um, <laughs> um, the, like, yes, I can see the, the attraction of launching your own coin, and it's not that hard these days, because there's loads of platforms which enable you to, to launch um, your own coins. But the thing is, I'm not a scammer. And the thing is, there's roughly 1,200 cryptos out there on the market at the moment. 99% um, of them are pure bullshit and I don't want to con contribute to another bullshit coin so uh, if I ever do launch a coin it's going to have because it has real world utility and that's the main thing um, whenever you do anything um, whether you, whenever you invest in uh, the crypto space or an ICO the, the, the actual cause needs real world utility so it's not just another bullshit doggy coin or Pepe coin or whatever so yeah lunch time I think so uh, Chat soon. Right, hey, Simon here, here with a lovely audience in London, and we're going to do some live crypto research now. So say hello, everyone. <laughs> okay, so. Here are the three questions. Be completely honest, okay? There's no correct answer here. Hands up if you've heard of the word blockchain before. Ooh, okay, you guys have switched on. Okay, so you've heard of it, okay. Hands up if you've heard of cryptocurrencies. Yep, yeah? okay, so this is definitely not a typical audience. <laughs> and last question, hands up who has actually bought some Bitcoins or cryptos. Okay, so, quite bright light so I'd say probably what 10% interesting once I, I decided holy shit cryptos are here to stay and I was like right I need to get I need to get into cryptos I fannied around for about six months I dillied and dallied and I procrastinated uh, and trying to get up my accounts and that six months de delay I was gonna put 40 grand in I've lost out on five million pounds profit basically blockchain is is a revolution in trust. So anything that required trust, like banks, like holding your money or uh, legal documents or whatever, it's gonna go on the blockchain. And, and so business broker is gonna go bust. Every middleman business is gonna go bust because it's just gonna decentralize everything. Cryptos is the evolution of money. It's not the revolution of money, it's the evolution of money and it's a revolution of trust. Okay, this is big as when we went from bartering 
to coined money 2,400 years ago. This is huge. And so what a greater fool's game is, is basically get in before the masses do, then get out when they come in. Simple.